Hello and welcome to another edition of Paydirt TV. I'm Mike Washbourne and today I'm joined by Leo Lithium Managing Director Simon Hay. Simon, thanks for joining us. Thanks Michael, great to be here. Simon, it's obviously been a big lead up for Leo Lithium but you're now finally listed on the ASX. How does it feel to be a publicly traded company? Oh, it's great. You know, we're, uh, we're now pure play ASX listed lithium company, uh, lithium developer. We're at a good niche um, sort of level on the, on the ASX. We are, you know, we're not a mid-tier, we're not a junior, we're somewhere in the middle. Um, it's great to be you know, our own company and out there developing a, a fantastic asset, putting the team together. And now that you are listed, uh, what are you able to do that you couldn't do before until you were trading on the boards? Well, I think um, you know, going back to the strategic rationale for the demerger, having a lithium company together with a, a gold company didn't make a lot of sense. So separating the two, um, I've, I've found it much easier to talk to investors. Um, they understand the lithium side um, in, in a lot more detail and you know, we can really just focus on lithium without um, you know, uh, clouding the picture, so to speak, with the, the gold side of things. So that's enabled us um, to really focus our, our shareholder investment um, and uh, our front facing to the market. Um, we've also uh, enabled us to focus on you know, Gang Feng, for instance, and our debt facility, which we have now announced that that has been uh, completed. So that's, that's terrific. We're now um, funded you know, with the $100 million that we raised um, in the entitlement offer as part of the demerger, plus the Gang Feng debt facility of $40 million US that went into the JV account. We're now um, you know, funded for our share of the Stage 1 of Gulamina. So that's really the, the key focus area for us. And Simon, how's the reception been since you have uh, got away in trading? Well, the market's been really difficult, as you know, Michael. It's um, When we priced the the shares in Leo Lithium at 70 cents. This was done on the 29th of April. And we then first traded on the 20th of June. So that in that two month intervening period, uh, the lithium sector really suffered. You know, it was down on average, or I think around 40, 45% our, our peers. So it was really no surprise that Leo shares were a bit softer when they did trade um, initially. And um, I think, you know, all uh, lithium developers, all our peers have really struggled. So yeah, that's that's been difficult, but there has been some positive news. You know, with uh, the sanctions being lifted in Mali, the the government there agreeing to a return to democracy and a time frame that met the requirements of the ECOWAS states, um, enabled you know a solution there, and that's that's really positive for the project. Going back a bit, I, ha I have to point out that the sanctions had not had an impact on the project at all. So, um, but the, the lifting of the sanctions enables us to get equipment into site when we need to using our preferred transport routes. So it will make things a lot easier in the future. And also I think it's just great for the economy in, in Mali. Um, it should ease uh, constraints on, on equipment getting into, into country in general. Um, and, uh, and you know, the government itself having, um, you know, free and able to uh, communicate with other, um, other sectors. And Simon, you mentioned Mali there. Obviously, your flagship project, Gulamina, is located in Mali and is very much on track to be West Africa's first lithium mine. How much of a huge milestone and a history-making event would that be for the company but also the country? Well, I think firstly for the country, it's uh, it's a huge positive. So, the government is very keen to diversify away from just gold. They have a well-established and mature gold industry, as as we all know. Um, but this is a uh, you know, it's another string to add to their bow um, in the mining industry. Um, of course, it'll be a great revenue spinner for the for the country, uh, for the government in terms of you know the taxes and royalties that we will pay. But the economic benefits are also you know uh, significant uh, job creation opportunities in the region. We'll have about 1,200 employees in the construction phase, around half that in the operational phase, and that and they will be predominantly locals. They will certainly look to train. Um, and employ locals, so we see um, we see that as fantastic for the country, and um, it sort of echoes the support that we get from the government. You know, the Malian government and the Mines Department are, are truly supportive of the project, and of course for for Leo Lithium, it's the asset is so good, it's such a, a large scale, uh, high grade spodumene deposit. We expect it will generate fantastic 
uh, financial returns over its life of mine. We think this is a really company making um, asset and it's, uh, it's the start of Leo Lithium. So we're really uh, in a great spot right at the moment. Mm. And as you mentioned before, you're obviously doing this in partnership with Gang Feng, um, arguably the, the best partner that you could probably ask for in developing a lithium asset. Yeah, Gang Feng, are, um, they bring so much to the table. Um, first of all, they're great to work with. Their local team um, are very knowledgeable in the lithium industry. So they've added a lot of value to the flow sheet. Um, they give us a lot of their thoughts on how we should process this, uh, the material. Um, of course, offtake. Um, they will move to 100%. Or they've now moved to 100% offtake for stage one with the provision of this $40 million US debt facility that we've just completed. Um, but also, um, we're really starting to see the benefits of their procurement network in China. So we've, we've got a, a number of our tender packages going out to um, suppliers in China. And with Gang Feng's assistance, these are coming back very competitively in terms of price, but also in terms of uh, time frame and schedule, which is super important for this project. Gang Feng have just committed to, uh, have just started actually building their a dedicated converter and this converter will take gulamine spodumene concentrate and process that through to battery grade hydroxide, lithium hydroxide and this um, converter has been accelerated, it's been brought forward six months so it provides us, our project team, a real target if we can bring our project on early um, the, the spodumene concentrate already has a home or will have a home in China when the, uh, when the converter is built. So yeah, Gang Feng across all aspects of, of the project are adding you know, real good value and support. And Simon, there's already a lot for investors to uh, digest uh, even though you've not been listed all that long. Uh, what are the key things that uh, your shareholders and any other incoming investors should look forward to over the balance of this calendar year? Well, I think we've flagged a lot of that in the quarterly that's just been released. So you can see um, the project is really accelerating. So we'll talk a lot about um, those project milestones and deliverables over the next uh, six to 12 months. Um, we're also uh, drilling on the project at the moment, drilling on site. We have um, the, the pegmatites are open at uh, depth and a long strike. So we aim to bring um, uh, exploration data back to the market towards the tail end of this year and into next year. Hopefully we'll have a, a resource and reserve upgrade. Um, so they'll be key, key milestones that we'll look for. We're also uh, building out our executive team and you can see that with the appointment of the CFO uh, most recently. We're also recruiting a, a COO. Um, so there's a number of uh, people we still need to bring in into the team so there'll be other key milestones that we will um, be revealing shortly. Excellent. Well, certainly a lot on your plate, Simon, and it looks like uh, that you won't be uh, stopping short of news flow anytime soon. So we look forward to catching up with you next time on Payday TV. Great. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for your time.